Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video we are going to be creating this simple but effective salon style gel polish design and I'm so excited to create it with you guys so I hope you are joining me for the ride and excited to see how I created this look as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get straight into the video. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back. Hey guys, I'm coming back in with another video and this is going to be another kind of, you know, salon style set that you can really just quickly throw out in the salon and it's not going to take too long and it's going to look absolutely bomb. Um, I've already applied my press on nails. These are the new XL Coffin press on nails. We have the Coffin and the Stiletto which are new and I've applied them to my hand. Let me show you guys how they look. Sorry for the squeaking sound there. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is how they look. I've applied these with gel. So all of our press on nails are a soft gel material So they can be etched on the inside and applied with gel so that it can last like, you know, three to four weeks I would say three weeks and then your client would need to come for a fill and all of that good stuff And um, so yeah, all of the nails currently on the website the press-ons can be used in this way you can also apply them with tabs or nail glue as well um, so yeah I've already come in and I've applied these with my gel and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use glow baby which is a super super bright yellow look how bright she is honestly summer's coming and i am having it honestly um, i'm also going to use a negligee as kind of my neutral base which is a really pretty neutral pink like a sheer pink color i'm probably going to come in as well with some sunflower which is a deep kind of sunflower yellow i guess and i'll also be using white and black which are these two pretties um so yeah and i've got some foil which i'll also be using the hollow blur foil and i'll be using the candy unicorn film you get eight different kind of colors in the set and i've chose this one and it's a self adhesive kind of unicorn film sticker which i'm going to be encapsulating within the gel so that is super exciting and um, the glitter that i've chosen to use for this set as well is clear hollow which oh my god you guys it's so pretty and if that isn't enough to make you guys stay and see the design and how it unfolds then i don't know what is <laughs> because i'm literally going to make it up as i go along as i generally do but yeah let's get into it but before we start give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and also share it. it really helps out my channel and it literally takes just a few seconds for all of the hours of time that i put into creating this content for you guys so i would really appreciate if you could go ahead and do that so yeah thank you thank you thank you let's get into it also look at my nails they totally need doing like oh my god who am i Okay, so I'm going to come in first and I'm going to use a negligee. In fact, I need to bring my model a bit closer. She's a little far away. <laughs> I'm using the straight plus, straight plus, the straight paws um, flexi hand, if anyone's wondering, and I'll link it down below so you can check it out. The, the tip's literally in and out. I'll do a full video on that because honestly, it's just too much to handle right now. Um, anyway, I'm coming in and I'm going to do a negligee on the pinky. Such a stunning neutral colour. Just want to apply a nice thin coat of that polish. I am also going to come in and do the same on the middle finger as well. And I just honestly absolutely love negligee. It's such a gorgeous, fresh colour. 
And I'm loving these new press-ons, honestly. <laughs> the shape of them and the length is gorgeous. And I can't wait to try them on my nails and wear them because they're gonna make my life so much easier. Doing full sets is never gonna be the same again. Okay, so I'm just getting nice into that cuticle area, floating, kind of floating the product, pushing it up, getting as close as I can to the side walls. Probably going out of focus as well. If I am, I am so sorry. How stunning is that? Okay, so now I have that on there. I'm gonna go ahead and just give that a flash cure, so I'll just be a second. Okay guys, I've flash cured that in the light and now I'm going to come in with the glitter that I've chosen that is clear hollow. In fact, I'm going to show you guys on the middle finger because it's just much easier. Um, and I'm just using a fluffy brush and what I'm going to do is tack that into the gel. And it's going to give us a really super pretty iridescent and neutral nail. And honestly, that as a set for me is absolutely banging. Don't mind the brush that I'm using, it's just an old one that I had. Um, it is so ruined. But we do have a glitter application brush coming and I cannot freaking wait till it gets here. It's just in manufacturing at the minute, but it's gonna be so amazing. Okay, so I've just dusted that over the top of negligee and that's absolutely stunning. And remember I only did one coat of negligee just to act as a nice and neutral base. I'm just going to go ahead and dust off the excess and I'm just gonna use my mini dust brush for that. Just make sure I've not got any dust on it because I don't want that kind of getting stuck into the nail. I'm just coming in and really lightly, just gently buffing off the excess glitter on there. How pretty is that? That's so pretty. Now I'm gonna kind of do a layering up here. Let me tell you guys, I am literally making this up as I go. You guys know I do that all the time. I just kind of look at it and I'm like, yes, that'll work. She'll do. So I have the unicorn film and I really wanted to use that in this. Ooh, look at that. I just looked at my viewfinder and was like, damn, that is like, literally looks like my nail right now um let me find my scissors okay so what i'm gonna do is just cut some i'm using the storic scissors i'm just gonna come in and just is this gonna work yeah i suppose it is it's just gonna be a bit fiddly with my nails you know being so long and i'm cutting some slices did i even get that on camera i have no idea just random slices up and you know like you do the glass um, nails and you incorporate the unicorn film or the glass film in there I'm gonna do it with the candy films I'm just concentrating give me a minute Okay, there it is. Look at that. That was like almost near impossible, especially with my long nails. Um, so what I'm going to do is place that over the top. And it's just going to stick. Because it's a sticker, it's literally going to stick with like a little to no effort. And it should be fine when we top coat as well. It should hold its place. This is like the fiddliest thing I've done in so long. Super fiddly, super fiddly. So I'm only gonna place a couple on each nail. Hold it into place. Hey, is that gonna stick? See, it might not stick. That was my kind of, that was my, that was my scary thing because I've gone over glitter and obviously the glitter, you know, it's not a very sticky surface. It might not fully stick to this, but we'll see when I come to top coat it. It'll either stay in place or I'll have great difficulty. We'll see. But I suppose I'm trying it out. You guys can either do the design or not if it works. So if this doesn't actually stick, just FYI, what I would do is um, 
I would base coat and then come in with this little stickers you know rather than on top of the on top of the glitter okay so I'm gonna put that one there just gonna move that over a bit that that literally doesn't look like it's gonna stick so that is how she is looking I think that looks super cute absolutely love it so let me try and put some base coat on here right now because we need to see if this is gonna work really before we carry on to the next nail so all I'm gonna do is float float the coat and what that is going to do is really seal it in place but also not drag it off the nail as well as you can see that was absolutely fine so now that I've floated the coat, I'm going to go ahead and flash cure that and that is just going to keep those in position whilst I work on the rest of the nails. So for the ring finger, I'm going to come in with Glow Baby. Am I? Yes, I am. Oh, that is super bright. I'm kind of pairing a neutral look here with some glitz, some glam and some neons. Um, so it's like neutral but classy. That is so freaking pretty. So I will apply two coats of this as well. Just make sure I've got a nice full coverage. And this is a design that can look fabulous on short or long nails, but I was so excited that we had the XL coffin press-ons in. I was like, you know, I need to use these. I am so excited for them, so. Here I am doing another long set of nails, <laughs> um, but I will be doing some short nails. I'm gonna change mine and shorten them down and focus on doing some fast, I say fast, they're not necessarily fast, but just salon focused designs. So I think that will really help those of you that are in salons that need to kind of pick up your skills on that side of things because not everybody has time to sit there and do nails for four or five hours and not only that it depends on your location and where you are based not everybody wants to sit there for that long and pay for that much time as well as the set of nails if you know what i'm saying hopefully that kind of makes sense to you guys so yeah i'm gonna focus on some salon ready salon worthy designs for you guys and I think that will be exciting and fun as well. So I've gone ahead and I've just applied my first coat of that glow baby and I'm gonna cure that in the light for 60 seconds and come in with a second coat. So I did come in and add my second coat of glow baby just off of camera and I've cured that for a full 60 seconds. So now I'm gonna come in with sunflower which is that just nice, yellow colour gel as you can see the difference there and what I'm going to do is I've took some of the product off my brush and I'm going to just come in like this and what it's going to do is tone it down but also bring some of those other tones of yellow in there. I'm going to do it on the other nail as well. This is going to be kind of an abstract design and I just love this style of work. I think it's I don't know it's just it just screams at me like in a good way like not in a bad like oh my god I just love it and um, so I'm gonna quickly fla flash cure that and then I'll come in with the white over the top so I've flash cured and I'm coming in with that white again I'm taking that product off the brush so that we're not kind of fully loaded and I'm just gonna place that on the nail with a light hand and it's just layering up those colours and bringing out different tones in the set. I'm going to do the same on the other nail and we don't want to cover up so we've got none of the colours showing. We want all of the colours to kind of have an equal display on the nail. So again I'm going to go ahead and just flash cure that in the light. I'm going to come in and I'm just going to get out some of the holographic blur foil which I am in love with. You literally don't need a lot of this. You don't need a lot of any foil really and you get so much in the packs that we supply. So I'm just going to tuck that back in there. Pop the lid back on. 
And I'm not going to do anything to prep this foil or anything like that. And I've just took my hand out of the lamp, so I'm just going to pop that back on my stand. And literally over this nail, I'm going to tack the foil to it and just add some shininess to this nail. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. And this again just layers up that design and it looks really pretty and foils again so easy to do in the salon require little effort especially doing it like this you're not having to apply another foil gel or anything like that we're simply coming in over that cured polish and because nail mate polish has a tacky layer after curing it it just literally pulls off the foil so so easy and it, honestly look at that so abstract i always go overboard with foils honestly i love them so much trying to get going with them i'm like more 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 every single time it sucks me in and then i'm like damn that's too much <laughs> but honestly how stinking pretty i know it doesn't look like absolutely banging just yet but just give me a minute we're, we're coming to it we're coming to it okay so now we are where we are at right this second what i'm gonna do is excuse me i'm going to come in and what i'm actually gonna do is first off top coat am i gonna top coat this now yes no i'm not i'm not i'm gonna come in i'm adding some glow baby to my stainless steel palette And I'm gonna use my detailer brush from the five piece gel brush set. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come around. I'm, I'm either gonna frame the entire nail or I might just do the V. I might just do the V here. Let's have a look. I might go just silent at this moment because you know, I'm figuring out my life choices right now. I knew I was going over a bumpy glitter and I was like, should I do it? And obviously I've risked it for a biscuit. Hopefully it turns out fine. So if you were doing this on a client, don't be like me and be a bit of an idiot. Um, do put down either a top coat and then do your line work or a base coat and do your line work because as you can see I've gone over that glitter and the line is just never ever going to be crisp no matter how hard I try simply because it's literally seeping into all of the areas where that glitter kind of is I mean it still looks fine but if you're like me and you love your lines being super crisp then that's what I'd recommend not going over a bumpy lumpy glitter so the products there can you see i'm just dragging it back up because we don't want it pooling in one area and i'm just going to pull it up the nail making sure that my line is as crisp as i'm going to get it and i am just going to flash cure that for a second i've flash cured that side and now i'm going to come in and replicate this on the other side as best that i can and as even as I can, of course. Okay, so I'm happy with that. What I'm gonna do is replicate it on the pinky finger and then I'll be back to add some further details. So I'll just be a second. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with some citrine yellow crystals. I'm just gonna tip some out into my lid. And I'm just gonna apply them around the cuticle just for an accent. Just, you know, because obviously we haven't got enough going on on these nails and we need more. Um, I'm just using the Glitter Planet Wax Bling Stick just to pick up my crystals, place them on the nail. And yeah, it just makes it super easy. So I'm just gonna get all of the sizes on there that I want on and then I'll come in with the other side of my tool and push them into position. So there we have it. I've flopped it, flopped it, I've <laughs> flipped it around, and I'm just gonna push them up to that cuticle area. 
Okay, so now I'm happy with those. I'm gonna flash cure them and then I'm gonna come in and top coat. Okay guys, it is time to add top coat and I'm using super gloss. I'm so excited to get this top coated and reveal the final close-ups because I just know it's gonna look super pretty. And yeah, I'm loving how bright it is. I bet this would look gorgeous in loads of different colours as well and I don't know, imagine this specific nail like rainbow, so like blue, you know, purple, pink on every nail, I think it would look so freaking bomb. I might even do that on my nails now that I come to think of it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far and I really hope you do give it a thumbs up, like, why do I always say that, like and share, comment down below if you liked this set and if you would rock it, I know it's not for everybody, it is kind of out there. Um, but yeah, it is really pretty as well. Hey guys, this is the final look. I love how it turned out. It is super freaking pretty and it is so bright in person. Hopefully that is picking up on camera and the lights reflecting everything. I'm not sure if it fully is, but honestly it is so pretty. Also guys, please remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and i love you Mwah. bye